Okay. What's up? It's your girl Paige here back again with another video. I know it's been over a year, but we're doing it. I have things I need to talk about. This is a crystal growing. I'm growing it. That's not the thing I want to talk about though. Today I want to talk about Sia's movie that's being released. No, I do not want to give this any more publicity, but I'm going to because y'all need to know the truth. So let's get to it. What's up guys? We have a lot to talk about today. If you don't know me or if it's the first time you're seeing me, my name is Paige Leal. You can find me here on YouTube. You can also go check out my TikTok and my Instagram with the same name. You may know me from there. I have 1.1 million followers on TikTok. Thank you guys for 1 million. It's so super sick. What I do mostly is I talk about autism and stuff because I myself am autistic. Go check out my TikToks if you want some more info. Part of being autistic is being hypersensitive to anything that touches my body ever. So that was a minuscule amount of hair that was on my nose and it was the most annoying thing in the world. But anyway, we need to talk about Sia. We need to talk about Sia's new freaking movie. We need to talk about the problems. We need to talk about what is going on because y'all deserve the facts. And facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Anyone listening to this, I am very left-leaning. I'm so far left. I'm left field. What are some things that I need to know, Paige? Great question. First thing you need to know, Sia is releasing a new movie and it is called Music. It is about an autistic girl whose name is Music and she also does elaborate dance scenes and singing stuff. I don't know if she sings actually, but she dances. I'm sure it's gonna be like, she finds her voice with music. She doesn't talk except for when she hears music. It's like a, uh, one of those movies, you know? So we're gonna talk about what has been going on since Sia started talking about this movie. And you will get my opinions on it. This is just one gal's opinion, but I will say that my opinion is what I am seeing as most of the majority. I do not count for every single autistic person. I don't count for every single woman. I don't count for every single Democrat. I don't speak for a whole of anything. I speak for myself and I like to give more information primarily from my own side because this is a side I agree with and this is my platform. So that is what happens over here. I'll give you a little rundown. Sia, you know Sia, the singer. Also the So Man song that everyone's going on TikTok, which by the way, that trend was created so we could cover up the fact that Sia did all this shit. So I'm not participating in it. Although I really did like that song. Um, Sia, you ruined it for me. So Sia releases this movie about an autistic character. And so the first thing that a lot of us thought was, oh my God, how cool. Well, <laughs> we really need some uh, uh, autistic representation uh, considering everything else that's in the media. So let's see, um, let's see who the main character is. What autistic actor did you hire to be this character? There are tons of autistic actors out there. I wonder, is this a new autistic actor that we haven't really heard of yet? Is this someone that we already know? Like what's going on? And then you get the, uh, the preview the trailer, and it is Maddie Ziegler, who is not autistic. So I'm gonna talk about some things that are wrong with that because I know some of you guys may be new here to the autistic community or what this all means. Some of you guys may be confused as to why. That is a problem. It's called acting, Paige. Okay, if you think that someone who's not autistic can act autistic better than someone who is autistic, you're wrong. So no, that's not the case. And also you can't act autistic without making it look like a mockery, especially with the kinds of things that music the character struggles with. You cannot portray that falsely and make it not look like a mockery. And also if you're saying that anyone can act autistic, it's just acting, you need to recognize your own ableism there. And, what, and why you think that autistics are not good enough at being autistic on their own, that they need to fit your level of what autism looks like and they need to perform to what you know. That's not true and you need to rethink that. So having autistic character being played by someone who's not autistic is a problem. It's a problem that we've been talking about for a long time. When I brought this up on my TikTok, a lot of people were saying, what about good doctor? Yes. <laughs> what about what's eating Gilbert Grape? Oh, yes, yes, name some more, name some more. Like, we weren't happy with any of those. We specifically weren't happy that it's all cis straight white men. Like, we've had enough of cis straight white men. And also autism being only portrayed in one way, that savant, 
weird with girls kind of way. So before you guys get all mad and say, you didn't have all this rage with the other guys, well, we did. And you probably weren't listening because this is Sia. Sia's a lot bigger of a name. This is new. What's Eating Gilbert Grape was 30 years ago. It was 27 years ago. I was not born. My parents like just started dating. I wasn't around to uh, talk or even to have autism. And also it was 30 years ago. Times were different. Times change, we grow, we evolved. Not saying it should have ever been okay, but 30 years ago when they released that, not that many people saw a huge problem with it. If they did, they didn't talk about it. Well, here I am and I'm gonna friggin' talk about it because that's not the only issue that we have with this movie. There are a lot of issues going on with this movie, especially and specifically with the way that Sia has been acting and talking to autistics since the release and since autistics have come at her with constructive criticism. If you're making a movie about someone who's autistic, for the autistic community, you should kind of be open to what the autistic community has to say about it. So first thing wrong with this movie, not casting someone who's autistic to play the main character who is autistic. That was the main issue. That was really, that was the main issue. And so people took to Twitter as they usually do and were saying, Sia, girl, fuck. And Sia had some words, Sia had some words, Sia had some words. I wanna talk about some of them today. So I'm gonna see if I can find the tweets and pull them up. I don't know how to do it. There were a lot of people that were saying, Sia, why not hire someone who's autistic as an as the actor? One thing that someone said was, Sia, there are so many autistic actors out there, autistic actors that also dance as well as Maddie and sing. I just wanna say hi, I do all three of those things. Like there shouldn't have been an excuse to not do that. And Sia responded, maybe you're just a bad actor. And that goes back to my previous point of if you think that, a, that someone who's not autistic can act autistic better than an autistic person, you're wrong. So, ew. Sia, that's really gross. So you're just like, you're, you're a bad actor. Oh, oh, super cool way to talk to somebody who's literally saying, Sia, you could have done better. <laughs> and she's like, no, you're just not good enough. Oh, okay. That's where shit really hit the fan. And then Sia started getting really, really mad on Twitter. Grr, fuckity fuck. Watch my movie before you yell at me. Fury. And then that comes, people were saying, like, tell us more. And Sia released that she did, in fact, hire an autistic actor to play the main character of music, but then had to fire her because she was too stressed in that environment. And I think that she thought people would think that that was the nice thing to do, to be like, oh, you're not having a good time, just leave. When in fact, what Sia should be promoting is accommodating autistic people. Otherwise, what are you doing? You're bringing autistic people in and they say, I can't work in this work environment. So you go, see ya. See ya. You have millions of dollars. You're making a movie about autistics. You need to fix the fucking environment to include them. She's like, of course I think that we should be accommodating, but don't you think it's cruel to have her still work in a place she found unsafe or, or stressful? Yeah, that's why you change it. Yeah, that's why you figure it out, especially the main fucking character of your movie, rather than fire her and, and hire Maddie. Because it was also told on an interview, I'll find the clips and I'll post them down below, that she originally made this role for Maddie, with Maddie in, in mind. Cause she made the dance numbers so Maddie could do them. One thing that really got me shocked was watching her interview with Variety. At one point the interviewer says something about how this autistic girl is non-verbal, which we prefer non-vocal because non-vocal doesn't mean you can't communicate. She goes, she's basically, because she's non-verbal, she's like an inanimate object, like a wig. And Sia's like, mm-hmm. She's like, but you gave them a voice. You gave them a voice. And Sia's like, yeah, you know, I really did give them a voice. No, I watched that and I was like, are you joking me? You just compared people that can't speak to the nothing. They're an inanimate object. That's a human being. And Sia, how dare you? First of all, interviewer, how fucking dare you? But second of all, Sia, you did not shut that down immediately. If someone said that to me, I would have gone, Repeat what you said. Say that one, say that once more. And they would have said it, I would have gone, how dare you? And I would have hung up the interview because that's pointless, disgusting, gross, disgusting, ew. Are you kidding? 
So we know where Sia's perspective lies, and it's not in the right place, no matter how many times she tweets that her intentions were in the right place. She also says she did three years of fucking research for this project. Three years of research, Sia, and you still use functioning labels, high functioning and low functioning, which is widely known amongst the autism community to not be a good thing. Not only do they not work, they don't tell you anything about the person. Autism is not a dichotomy. You cannot split up people into high functioning or low functioning. And also those labels generated from the Holocaust when Nazis were killing us, Hans Asperger, freaking cool guy, was like, no, there are some autistics that can actually work for us Nazis. So we don't have to kill those guys because they can work. The other ones can go die though, so that's cool. Then the ones that could work were high functioning and the ones that couldn't work were low functioning. It all comes down to greed and capitalism and disgustingness. So uh, we don't really like using those Legos. If you wanna use them for yourself, you do you for yourself. I'm not gonna tell anyone how they should or should not identify or refer to themselves. But I know myself personally, uh, fuck that. I don't wanna be a part of that at all. I think it's kind of gross that Sia's done three years of research and she doesn't know that. She also tweeted once, I never called them disabled. I always said special abilities. That makes it worse because the whole, like that, that, that was so ableist. That was so ableist. You don't even see that? I never said, like, what do you think ableism is? You're like, I never said they were disabled. Why? Because you think being disabled is bad? Because you think disabled is a bad word? Because it's not. Why do you think like that? Figure that out. That's ableism. Special abilities. Uh, I can do this with my tongue. I can talk with my uncles. Like, I don't know what special abilities here you're talking about. It's a disability. And that's fine. If it's not a disability to you, swagger. Swagger, do your thing, dude. But it's a disability to a lot of people. Being disabled is not bad. It's okay to be disabled. It's okay to use the word disabled. Special abilities, why are you, sh why? Stop. Ew, I never said disabled. I only said special abilities. What am I, a unicorn? We're the largest minority out there. At any given time, 15 to 20% of the world's population is disabled. Think about that. Like old people are often disabled as well. So that's why that's such a large number. So I don't know what C is doing there with her, with her weird labels. She also goes by uh, person first. Which is like, okay, not, I'm, I don't get mad when people use person first, but I get mad when they tell others to use person first because most of us don't want it. Most of us like identity first. So person first language is like person with autism. By identity first is autistic person. And that's because you can't separate us from autism. I can't separate autism from anything I do. Everything I do is autistic because I can't separate it. It's always there. It's always a part of me. It's always involved. I, I'm not a person with autism. I don't carry around autism in a bag with me. I don't leave my autism at home some days. I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't autistic. If I was autistic, I'd be a completely whole separate human being. So identity first is great. If you prefer person first, again, do you, but don't tell other people to do that. Um, because if you have to use person first to remind yourself that I'm a person, Gross. <laughs> but also coming off of this three years of research, she was then talking about how Autism Speaks had partnered on this project. Those of you who are unsure Autism Speaks, you probably know of, they're like the biggest autism group around. They are an anti-autism group, meaning that they advocate for removing autism, curing autism, getting rid of it, helping out and caring about parents and caregivers of autistics rather than actual autistics. None of their board members are autistic. And I think like it's something stupid, like 2% of like the money that they generate actually goes to helping autistics. I'm always sketchy about organizations that want money from you to give to people. Cause I'm like, why can't I just give the money to the people instead of you? A lot of the autism community does not like Autism Speaks. It's not like the color blue or puzzle piece being represented out as us for a lot of those reasons. And Sia said, I had no idea it was such a polarizing group. How the fuck do you not know that? After four, three years of research, you didn't talk to one autistic person? And what makes it worse is that she is doing this with like the intention. She's always saying her intentions were good. Her intentions were good. I don't understand how. I don't understand where. Thank, thank you, I guess. But you've done nothing actually good. What have you done good? What have you done for the autism community? 
you fired us. You hired a group that actively tries to kill us. You didn't accommodate us. You created this movie, which may I add, had no closed captions in the trailer, was full of flashing wild colored lights, very not accessible. And I want to add that Maddie's portrayal of music is the same way that neurotypicals mock autistic people. But there, it is a mockery. It, and here's the other thing. This is why this is different than The Good Doctor. It's slightly different to act autistic by saying things. It's even more harmful and more of a mockery to act autistic with your movements, with the way you say your words, the way you move your hands, stereotypically, that is the way that people make fun of autistics in real life. That is the way I was bullied in real life by people like Maddie doing this. It was, it was uncomfortable to watch. It was hurtful. Like, I'm like, how? No. I also wanted to add another thing about Maddie. When this was signed off, Maddie was a child. Maddie still kind of is a child. I know she's 18, but she's young, okay? She I just made the connection that Maddie's two years younger than me. Also, Sia is Maddie's godmom. So Sia has really dug her claws into Maddie at a young age. There's no way that Maddie could have said no. Sia made it very clear in not only her tweets, but also that interview I was talking about earlier, that Maddie was very uncomfortable with this role and a lot of times would cry and get upset and say that people are gonna think that she's mocking them. And Sia said, I won't let them think that. I won't let that happen. Sia, you don't have control over that and it's happening. I just wanna make sure everyone knows and everyone's aware that this is not Maddie's fault. I don't want anyone sending hate to Maddie. Maddie knew what she was doing was not okay, which I respect. I think that involves change and growth and empathy. And I think that there's hope for people that think like that. I'm mad at the full grown adult woman who directed this, who did her research in all the wrong places and is actively harming the autistic community rather than helping them. And it seems like her goals and her intentions are skewed. I think that all of her consultations seem to be from caregivers of autistic people rather than autistic people. And I think there's harm within that itself. We have been talked over for so long that it is time that we control what is being said. We get to talk about our own shit. And I'm, I'm not, I'm very uncomfy when I hear that people are partnering or talking to, collaborating with people that aren't autistic about autistic issues, unless they're like, the major autism doctor diagnoser guy, whatever, I understand. Like you probably know more about autism than I do. But when it comes to like a parent of autistics, like you can say what you see on the outside, but you'll never understand. And that's not your fault. And that's not your kid's fault. That's just the way it is. And that's why people like me are here to maybe help vocalize some of the stuff that we're feeling. So it is uncomfy to me to think that watching this movie, I thought this was not for autistics. This is for caregivers to feel like some inspiration porn, savior complex. Like I do so good because I help the autism community. They're basically inanimate objects like wigs, but I help them and it's so hard for me. No one said it wasn't hard for you, but can you imagine what it's like to actually be autistic? Like it's so hard to take care of someone who's like that. Can you imagine what it's like for the person that's like that? If you made their life easier, it would also make your life easier. Like, holy crap. Wrapping up with this movie, I recommend everyone to not watch it. I don't think that Sia deserves our money. Nothing about us without us, and this is clearly without us. Oh, actually, before I leave, there was one other thing that she tweeted that I was very upset about, and she said, um, I actually hired autistic actors, okay? And not as drug dealers or as prostitutes, but as doctors, nurses, and singers. And I was like, why would your brain even go there? Why would you think to even include, and not as prostitutes or drug addicts? Because that's what autistic people are, prostitutes and drug addicts. And I gave them respectable careers. 
see ya. Why'd your mind be like, ah, oh, yes, I did not do this. So thank me for that. That's the bare minimum. I would recommend, final thoughts. I would recommend that you do not watch this movie. I do not want Sia getting any money. I would like Sia to not profit off a disorder that she does not have ex or experience. And also that she did in a very crappy, crappy way. If you need to get more information about autism, I recommend you do not do it from this movie. I also would like to recommend that you don't send like death threats to anybody. That's never okay. I don't care about that. Gross, 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 gross. Yes, Sia fucked up, but I want her to watch these videos. I want her to learn and I want her to change. And I also want to say to anyone that's watching this, if you think you want to do something similar, if you want to make an autistic character or something, a movie about autism, if you want to do that, you need to hire autistic actors. And if you think they're not out there, they are. You need to always listen to the person that it affects. And also I'd like to add that even if, even if Sia was like, Paige, can you be this character for this movie? I would have said, no, I'll be the stunt double that dances for her. But even me acting like how music is, is still unacceptable. Vocal, most of the time. Like I'm sure most autistics can agree with me that there are times where they go non-vocal and you can't communicate, especially during a meltdown or during a shutdown. Like there are times, but that's not how I live my day-to-day -day life. And of course it's called acting. Yeah, but it's kind of called mocking. When you're using harmful stereotypes, it's mocking. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you learned some stuff on the CM movie, maybe a little bit about autism, maybe a little bit about the autism community. If you guys care to listen to more stuff, more rants of me getting upset about things, and there's also some other stuff too. You guys can check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Paige Layal. Um, I hope to be posting on YouTube more often. I also hope to be starting a podcast at some point and maybe a Patreon one of these days. So stay tuned. I will link everything down below. The tweets, uh, the interview, and possibly the movie and the trailer. You guys can check that out for yourselves. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you for caring. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you very soon.